money moves with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a mother movie. So today, we're going to be talking about the notorious street life that a lot of guys are living, a lot of black men are living. We're going to be talking about jobs. So the topic of today, we're going to be talking about how a lot of American black men left their jobs for the street life. So before we get in the video, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and let's get straight into the content. So there's been trends going in the, on in the black community uh, with male and female. The females have taken on an independent culture, single, glorizing single, motherhood single single womanhood and using utilizing black man and black man and most black men have take, taken on the role of not staying put at some type of company not moving up in the job world not getting any type of um education in the trade you know, something that, that's going to be financial for them. So what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot more American black men walk around agitated. A lot of these guys be walking around agitated, you know, just because a lot of them are broke. Let me say that again. A lot of modern American black men are broke and they walk around agitated and people perceive black men as to be so-called quote unquote thug life brothers um, from another mother, you know, um, and it's not that this dude is a thug. A lot of these guys. You know, the thug life is a trick for American black men. When I say it's a trick, a lot of guys think it's cool. Um, they don't want to work their nine to fives. They're like, no, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to quit my job. So what are you going to do when you quit your job? Are you going to go look for another job? Do you have another job lined up for yourself? when you quit this job or are you just quitting a job without anything lined up so what i notice is uh, with, with most american black men a lot of guys end up um, either one um um investing into drugs trying to sell drugs etc and a lot of them end up homeless. And we see these guys, these these are the guys who think that they're gangster. These guys think that they're thug life. But really, what a lot of these guys is, a lot of these guys is foolish. A lot of these guys spend years, months, days, weeks, years without earning a paycheck and what happens is is that a lot of guys who so-called claim that street life and want to do that street life a lot of you guys go end up buying guns or robbing somebody for guns or whatever and then next thing you know you end up getting locked up for three to five years ten years and it's a track record now you got 10 years gone or you got a year gone you got five years gone you got 10 20 years gone when you could have had a consistent check coming in where you bought a house and you live the natural way that a human being is supposed to live when you buy a house you have a family 
and you live. A lot of guys are not living this way. A lot of American black men are not living this way. A lot of guys cannot see uh, out because they feel like jobs are difficult. Like most American black men that I know don't really like to like to listen to order. You know, a lot of uh, a, a lot of guys, a lot of American black men do not have discipline. So if a manager tells them something or somebody at the job says something crazy, it's going to be it might be a fight. It might be a fight tonight. So, guys, I, what I realize is guys are just, a lot of black men are just choosing to call themselves thugs while running around our communities. Frustrated and broke, and they're looking for victims because they don't want to work a job. A lot of these guys, a lot of you guys out here robbing, stealing, uh, stealing your cell phones, snatching your phones, running, running into stores, snatching things, ro committing robberies, murders. In our communities, are men who are frustrated. The, you guys are not thugs. You guys are not gangsters. There's nothing gangster about not wanting to work a job. There's nothing gangster about not having any income, walking around frustrated because you don't know how to manage money, walking around here and uh, riding around in an old school beat up car because you don't know how to establish credit for yourself and go get a new car off the lot. It's absolutely insane how a lot of us are thinking about jobs and the street life. A lot of guys would rather say that they're street life and they're thug because they don't want to work. Because they feel some type of way because they don't have money. So that's why we get guys stealing people cars. Then a lot of these guys get drug addictions. You stealing people cars, you want to rob people, you want to beat people up in the streets. You want to hate on a young man who is going to work. These are absolute facts, guys. I hate to put it like this. Me being a black man, us black men who are working jobs, we have to put up with a lot of stuff because other black men before us left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. So just know you're going to have a hard a lot of us are gonna have it really hard when we first get on the job till we prove ourselves to be worthy. Because the older guys before you didn't wanna work. They wanted to sell dope. They wanted to, uh, a lot of guys wanted to mooch off of women. Smooches, you, you, you're smooching off of women. You know, it's absolutely crazy. So, what are we going to do, fellas? Are we going to continue to make bad decisions? Or are we, you know, a real ninja? I remember back in the day, every dude and his daddy thought they was a real ninja. And you're not. You're not a real ninja. You're stupid. You're fake. You know, you hurt innocent people. So, guys, that's all I got for the video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, fellas, it's a mother movie. Over and out.